Rorschach is this sort of detective of the story, but at the same time he is psychopathic in his relentless pursuit of justice or whatever that is. You know, he comes from a broken family and he grew up on the mean streets and he slowly became this character. He found this hood that has these shifting ink blots on it that like a Rorschach test. And uh, they constantly are moving, mirroring each other. You know, whenever he looks, you know, they react with his emotions and things like that. Rorschach's face moves all the time. <laughs> so that's another whole bit of R&D that we had to do and figure out how we were gonna shoot that. We've had a couple of fittings with Jackie O'Haley, who uh, brings this great silhouette to the character. He's compact and he's mean. He's like this kind of little crazy terrier. Really? <laughs> uh, we've come up with this special fabric for his mask. We've done a, a lycra, which we've screen printed with a photographic version of like a canvas sort of texture. And then we've also put a three-dimensional texture on the top of that. So you end up with this great texture that the camera loves. Performing with a sock on my head is what I always say, but the eye holes are very, very large, so you can read the eyebrows and the expression in the eyes. The idea is so that I can see what's going on, and that so the guys that are actually putting the blot on there can also just see emotionally what was going on during the performance. He wears that, he emotes, he does everything, and then we take it back into the shop and we track the tracking markers and we replace everything on the face. There are set patterns that we define as expressions. Alex McDowell in the art department created about 13 to 15 different hero patterns. Along the way, we realized, well, if we're going to be faithful to the graphic novel, we should look at what Dave Gibbons drew, because he was actually pretty specific about what blots he would put into each panel and how they would change sometimes. We wanted to get that level of detail into the film as well. We actually go through a, a hand-drawn 2D process first and those are all animated flat. They give us back a sequence, and we look at a high con version of the sequence. So once we buy off on that animation, we already know how it gets rendered, and then it's just all lighting for the actual textured head that we're replacing. Interesting that the character Rorschach, the most loved character as far as fandom goes, is also the character that is the most maniacal and, and insane. He's noirish and he voices the movie, but he also is sort of the narrator of the film at the same time. He's constantly commenting on society and on the other characters in the movie and the mystery that's unfolding, and he's the one that kind of drives us through that mystery.